YouTube, YouTube, what it do, man? It's your man T Fox in the E320, man. Welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, man, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Turn on that bell right there so you can get all of And hit that personalized. Turn it on all, man, so you can get all of the cinematic movies coming to a view near you. Now, look, I'm embarrassed, man, but it's okay. We all do some stuff sometimes. We mess up. We fall down, but hopefully you get back up, man. I started recording some kind of way. I turned the camera off and lost the footage, so I had to start all over again, man. But I'm kind of glad because I made a few mistakes in there. But I want to start this video off by saying, man, rest in peace to Larry King. Mr. Larry King, rest in peace, is, is uh, you know, 87 years is definitely a blessing, man. And uh, um, I had 40 years <laughs> of growing up and having them playing in my household, my grandma and all of that good stuff, man. So, um, you know. It, like him or love him, man. He was a good guy at the end of the day, did a lot, and uh, was, man, very big in uh, journalism, man. And, uh, you know, he lived a long legacy. Now, YouTube. Mm. Y'all, excuse me, had to get my cigar, man. Got my coffee, man. It's early in the morning. But look, let's talk about a few things, man. Okay, another thing. Congratulations to. The new presidential cabinet, uh, President Joe Biden, uh, Madam uh, Vice President Kamala Harris, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the AKAs and all of the Greeks, uh, all of the HBCUs, you know, I know everybody's taking pride in this right now. But, you know, with all the good going on, y'all, it's always, not necessarily bad, but it's always some chaos in there somewhere, right? It was been so far 10 executive orders filed already. One of them in particular that I want to talk about though. But before we get to that, man, y'all stay tuned for this dope cinematic intro. And we'll be right back. Don't go nowhere. Get your coffee, get your squares, get everything together, man, because it's going down. It's your man T Fox and E320, man. We'll be right back. Squad, what it do? It's your man T Fox in the E320. To everybody that's new to the channel, man, y'all know I give up a whole. I'm I am a video director, so I'm always in the city, at the city, everywhere, and I give y'all some content from everywhere and all of the breaking news. If you need it, you can get it right here on my channel. If you knew all of everything is in playlists, so as I make vlogs, as I do something that's funny if i got music interviews if i have a commercial they all have categories which are into playlists so please go back and check those playlists out some that you definitely gonna love is within those playlists and to the past new subscribers man thank y'all now let's get to it man check it executive orders oh my goodness man one of them in particular that i don't like is this order to open schools you know what i'm saying and i don't know how many of y'all have kids in the public school system but when you think of that and if you are a teacher i know a lot of y'all are definitely against it man people are dying every day 
these numbers are steadily going up they constantly telling us the vaccine has got problems they're not being able to get it out i mean what do y'all really think about the mess i know a lot of people gonna say yeah trump did this trump did that right now we had a forward motion situation with a new unit and a new head right and they are wanting to send our kids back to school now when you look at the senate the congress and all of those guys if they not old and they have kids in school i can put all the money that i got which ain't a whole lot uh on the line to say that they probably go to private school you know what i'm saying a lot of military kids they go to military school which is also basically private school so now when you look at the public school system and you look around in the public and i do mean like the major cities memphis nashville atlanta uh la um miami uh columbia south carolina little rock arkansas um jacksonville florida houston texas dallas texas all of these cities man and you talking about sending people back to school when you look at the numbers chicago i can't forget y'all i'm sorry but when you look at the numbers and you look at that inner city and you look at the people that live there they look like me you and some of our like my neighbors man my my boy carlos over there my boy Warren. Oh, oh y'all hold on got cousin pj on you know yeah i said well damn okay shit right now i'm in here dropping the joint now talking about um school going back man they trying to send our kids back to school and yeah and so like my thing shit is you're going to send them back to school but when you look at the public schools most of them gonna be black mexican and a very very slim few whites but the the public school system was already overcrowded so how in the hell do you expect them to socially distance and shit like that exactly keep them safe yeah like how they, gonna get, they ass gonna get sick and they gonna turn around and bring that shit back to their mama dad or their grandma exactly and so that's where i'm at with it and i was just trying to kind of give me an understanding like hey you know i know what i think about it but like what do everybody else think about it and like we need to start talking about it and make it big while they making choices because when you look at the senators and the congressmen man they old and if they not old they kids go to private school they don't go to regular school and so while we sending our kids to, and they trying to send our kids back like my sister you know what I'm saying her kids they go to school in the in dc but they in private school she said they classrooms only had like five six kids in them because it's their choice if they want to go or not now it this don't pertain to the private schools or the military schools this is only about the public school system ain't that some shit right and if you look at colleges they not they funded by you know you pay your money to go so they not sending them back nope look at the news reporters they not even in the same space right now nope but they want to send the kids but they want to send the kids back and I, I think uh you know like if we don't start saying something if we don't start like making noise like dr george ray did and then as soon as he said something and spoke up for shelby county then you had a bunch of white constituents jump out and say he just likes to be on the news. He just likes to promote himself. Hell nah. He said, man, um, don't hurt my kids. Yeah, I seen it. I looked at it Friday, matter of fact. I looked at it yesterday. And he showed right, because that's exactly because you got, come on now. You get the classroom holds 35, 40 kids. Come on, man. Well, how the hell is that social distancing? Then on top of that, you put the the, the teachers in danger. You don't, you know how many teachers gonna quit? You know how many teachers would quit, man. <laughs> man, <laughs> they, the way they looking at it, I might as well quit. Get whatever retirement I'm fit to get ready to get, and take my tail back to the house so my family can be safe. See, they ain't thinking about all that. I thought about that, and uh, I think it'll be a lot of retirements, and some of them will quit. 
and rather take their chances doing something that they will be actually distant from. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not gonna be like you. You know what your kids doing at your house, but you don't know what the next kids or the next parents doing at their house. Exactly. You don't know if they mom and daddy work at FedEx, and FedEx got a lot of people mm-hmm. coming in and out sick. Nike got yep. people coming in and out sick, and they taking that shit back home. Mm-hmm. And man, people still dying. Yep. And uh, the biggest thing of it is in the, in the beginning, man. Like I don't know if the message. I don't. I really wonder how that message got out that this that COVID didn't didn't make black people sick. I don't know how that happened, but, you know, of course, we see what's going on. Yeah, like now, we the highest on the meat market. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Our funeral homes, our graveyards, they all overran right now. And then, mm-hmm. it's to a point where, man, white people feel like they don't even got to wear a mask or nothing. They go out in Mississippi, you see them, they don't have on nothing. No exactly. mask, no nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure if you go to Iowa or North Dakota or somewhere, they don't have none of them issues because then you go to the places where it's real rural it and it ain't nobody around them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then you come to our area and, you know, I said, man, black folks, the average family got three kids, maybe four. With a yep. Mexican family, the average family got four kids up to seven or eight. Right. Yeah. And then they stay real close with their family, and we all real close with our families. But you think of most white families, they ain't never, like, have they cousins and grew up with their cousins and all no. of that. They just kind of grow up. It's their family. Their family is considered their mom, their dad, their brother, their sister. That's it. That's and it. they normally only got two kids. Mm-hmm. That is it. Man, it's like man. So like when I look at it, it's like it's 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 an off balance playing field. Yep, because like you said, the mother kids, you know, five in the class, or the teacher might not even be there, but that's what they doing. Yep. Oh yeah, the teacher probably not there. You know what I'm saying? Because the teacher got a choice too. Yep. And mm-hmm. half of them why the hell stayed at home? Man. That's what they doing, staying at home. So it's kind of crazy. I just want to see how it's all gonna pan out in the end, man. I hope that um, I hope that they don't just make. Well, to me, it was a very sporadic decision. But if people recognize that um, the president, like the president, right before he went in office, he was already working. You know what I'm saying? So if he was already working, then all the plans that he had was already written. And so uh, him signing executive orders, that was already a done daughter. That was something they already discussed. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And when you think of all the kids being out of school, that's a lot of money being missed. And so the government basically saying, hey, we giving y'all money to fund y'all schools and y'all not going. Uh, And that means that y'all not paying. They not Y'all not paying money to the light bill company. Y'all not spending extra money for security. Y'all not, you know what I'm saying? It's a whole lot of stuff that's not going on. It's no football game, so nobody making money. They not selling merchandise. It's Everything is on pause. And who makes this money off of our kids? Who make the money out of the football games? Who make the money? What do they do with it? You know what I'm saying? We don't even think about that shit. We just go to games. We go to all of the shit, but we don't ever think about, like, who really who getting make, the money? Who making all the money? Exactly. Like, what do they do with it? If the government fund the schools, then what do the schools do with the money that they make? Exactly. Where does that money go? I've been wondering that for years. Where does that money go? Right. In the fundraisers and all of that. Mm-hmm. What they doing with it? So, you know, it's a whole lot going on why schools are shut down. It's a lot of stuff getting, it's a lot of, um, it's a lot of money being missed, I guess. So, you know, money is always better to some than everything. So, if your money is off, we got a problem. And then on top of that, with schools being out, I do understand that the unemployment is going to be high because people can't afford the child care or they got kids, they got to stay there with them. Exactly. And, man, our government got enough money to make this stuff work. 
they do and they don't want to give it up. Nah, they want to give it to their friends instead. Mm -hmm. They want to give it to their corporate friends. Man, when this video right here drop, it, it probably won't get but two views. You feel me? Because, like, but somebody got to tell the truth to our people, man. Shoot, we gonna, we gonna get them two views on there and we gonna put the rest of them off, get them off Facebook. Put them Facebook up with it. Yo, so I'm gonna, um, like, ir like even even what we, like, while we talking now, it's all recording, so I ain't cutting nothing out of my video, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I'm not cutting anything because it's all important. And initially, exactly. I was just sitting here talking about it, but they kind of give it a, a point when people hear it from two ways versus just me saying, hey, this is what I think, you know. But, like, the facts speak for itself, man. The numbers don't lie, you know what I'm saying? But the people in the news do. Exactly. And It's always been like that. Yeah, man. And our folks, we hardheads, so, you know, we going <laughs> to believe it how we believe it. And in in... If it's somebody from our community that we can relate to, we gon' we we might listen to them a little more. So man, hopefully somebody listening to this journey and be like, yo, man, I feel where they coming from. Cause <laughs> right now, I know it's a lot of folks questioning it, but they gonna learn slow, man, that this is about to hit them and they don't even know it. Cause a lot of people, a lot of us not even looking at the news. Some of them don't even they know the inauguration happened, but they didn't see nothing of it. They know that some executive orders happened because they heard about it, but they didn't even look at them. But I'm going to tell you what's going to hurt us, though. I'm going to tell you what's going to hurt us. It's, you know, the, the color community. Um, you get, you have so many of us either don't want to spend the time or don't have the time, or they're trying to make money other ways where they don't want their kids at home. No one to take care of the kids. So uh, you have a lot of us trying to push them to go back to school because they don't want them either at home by themselves or they don't want them in their face. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and that's yeah. Hurt us. And then the lazy ones, too, that's not even uh, trying to make sure their kids learning right now. Exactly. Currently. They just wanted the, the government check or the baby daddy check. That's all they really wanted. And now they had to kind of work a little bit because they you know, had school out. You know, now it's hurting their feelings. Because <laughs> they got to be there with them. Exactly. You know, no more of that. I'm just going to drop them off at school, pick them up when it's time to pick them up and get to mine and call it a day. But that's, that's what's going to hurt us. So a lot of them are going to be like, yeah, because if you notice, if you look at the news, when they was talking about what they was planning on doing was either send them to school or let them, you know, get the laptops, computers, or whatever, and send them home. A lot of folks like, send them to school, send them to school. And if you paid attention to the news, a lot of them, you can tell, was women, color women of the community. So they let you know right there, either no man was in their life or they was the only one, you know, trying to survive. And so, you know, I understand, you know, you got some of them, you know, they work and who going to keep the kids? So you, there, here you are making a decision in your life. OK, do I let my kids stay at home or be broke? So a lot of them is dealing with that. Yeah. And then um, the kids sitting at home and they sleeping or they not getting up doing work. Yep. And, so, that's, and that's a lot of time the case too, man. Dude, it's, it's rough, you know what I'm saying? I think, man, that they should have... I think it's a lot of ways they could do this, man. Matter of fact, it's a lot of parents that's, that's probably able to move around, man. I think they should be able... I don't know, I guess because of so much going on, but if they could at least, man, come by these houses and have the public safety officers riding... And if a kid is offline, they able to go by and check, you know what I'm saying, check on them and motivate them a See little what's bit. Going on. Right, you know what I'm saying? And perhaps it could create some jobs for some folks too, you know what I mean? Because they could they could right they could say, Hey, I mean, you already have to do a, a FBI background on everybody that works for school. I mean, why not have somebody that's like not a babysitter but uh like the uh the truant officer. Yeah, like they. Like I know the teachers are teaching, but they usually mm -hmm. have like the stu. I think they the 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 at home learning coordinators, the ones that go out to the house for the kids that did homeschooling anyway. Mm -hmm. I think they should implement some of that for the kids that sh that like they're starting to miss school or there's missing classes, lessons, grades dropping. They need to be mm -hmm. able to send 
somebody they can go to their house with their mask and their gloves or whatever, you know what I'm saying, make sure they safe, but check up on these kids. And exactly. it's not that many of them. And well, you know what? I, come, I found that that uh, a lot of kids not even in school. I think uh, last time I heard, like 6,000 not even in school. They trying to figure out why. Uh, Why? Just because their parents lazy. What you said. And that's the sad part. And why? It's probably because they don't give a... You know what I'm saying? And I, I have talked to a parent that said... She didn't understand the work and she wasn't trying to figure it out. <laughs> That's the messed up part right there. She said, Hell, I went to school. Like, what? These your kids, lady? Mm-hmm. Like I told you at the beginning, some folks just want that paper. You start taking that paper away, I bet you they'll start listening. Man, it's crazy, man. It, it's crazy. Start taking that paper away, make it work. If your kids ain't in school, what you need paper for? It all, hey, there you go. Like, you know what? That should be part of something. It's got to be a way. Like, if your kids are in school, I think, you know, like, you might need to show proof of that. Like, if you get unemployment, showing proof that your kids in school should be easy. You know what I'm saying? The school should be able to give you that easy, and they should have a way to access to check your kids to see if they in school. Exactly, because they're going to do something, man. The lot of parents, they don't care, man. Yep, sad situation, but, man, but it is. And I don't know if it's just the stress or they just showing their true colors or. They're showing what they always were in the beginning. It's crazy, it's man. It's just, you just you can just see it more open now. It's crazy, but I'm going I'm to, uh, what I'm going to do, like, man, let me see. So we at, listen, YouTube, we at 21 minutes, man. Y'all got it. Um, We going to come back with a part two. I'm open for the questions, suggestions, man. Make sure y'all drop in the comments below and let us know what y'all thought about what you heard. Man, give me the questions, the, man, everything y'all got. And I'm telling you, I'm going to bring it back in the video form. I would love to keep going back and forth on all of this because we need it as a people, man. But, man, look. It is what it is. Like, so look, if y'all enjoyed the video, make sure y'all hit that like button, man. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell so you get all of the notifications coming to a view near you, man. It's your man, T Fox in the E320. Also, like I said, if you're new to the channel, man, y'all want to go back, look at some of the old playlists to bring y'all current so y'all see exactly what it is I do and how I do it. And stay tuned for the E320 bill, man. Y'all be up, man. Stay blessed, man. It's been me, and I got my cousin P called on the line. And, man, y'all yeah. heard it best, man. Ain't that right? What we doing? Ain't it cuz? <laughs> That's right. Yeah, man. All right, you too, man. Y'all be easy, man. In the meantime, between time, holla at your boy. Who, who gonna stop me? I'm on my own clock. Yeah. 10 years, 20 years, yeah, I won't stop. No. 30 years, 40 years, yeah, I won't stop.